What's going on everybody? It's Childish, we're back at it again, coming at you with another Summoner's War video. And in today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at the information regarding the Elite Tree of Heroes. And as always, uh, give a little showcase here by my man Storyteller, who has recently done a stream showing this particular dungeon here, as he always does on the Korea server. So you guys can kind of get an idea of what to expect in this one. So if you guys can do me a favor, show your support. Before we even say like, comment, subscribe, you all need to do me a solid here. Storyteller has always been a fantastic YouTuber for the Summit Story community. If you could do me a favor, since this is his original video, original stream, check out the link in the description down below if you guys want to go ahead and show your support here. He's always given us an update when it comes to these specific dungeons here and basically showing us how to do the exact perfect run for these uh, tough dungeons that we run into. So again, if you guys could do me a favor, show your support on that, I would greatly appreciate it. And without further ado, Let's go ahead and get into it. Um, I got a chance to take a look at the run already, so it's not gonna be super new to me, but I will say this, it's definitely uh, pretty cool, pretty unique here. A lot of things going on, so uh, definitely a lot of things to talk about here. So one of the things that we're gonna be running into when it comes to this boss is here, he's gonna have uh, essentially three different attributes, fire, water, and wind, and they're gonna be changing depending on what his HP condition is. So the cool thing about it is, is that we'll obviously have to uh, mix and match our own damage, right? If we're utilizing Orbe right now, we're gonna have to change it up here and provide uh, attack the opponent here, or attack the boss, utilizing an elemental advantage here. So we're gonna have to keep an eye out on what he is so we can get maximum value on that here. In addition to that, throughout the boss or throughout the battle, there's gonna be uh, like essentially statues throughout the thing. And there's gonna be a statue for fire, wind and water. What we're gonna be trying to do is obviously uh, get him to damage those origins, kill those towers here, uh, go after the one that he has an elemental advantage towards here. So we're gonna essentially move around a little bit and you know get over and over to the tower so that we can have him take it down and essentially like get on to the next phase of this. And then after all that is said and done, you guys clear all three different uh, orange and towers. Uh, he's gonna be preparing for the fight on battle, which takes us to three different islands uh, that essentially fall, you know ask us to you know clear the monsters before the essentially recharge item, you know, uh, finishes. And then ultimately we're gonna be coming back here and doing some damage once again. Now he provided a, quite a handful of different um, uh, insight on this, but one of the biggest updates that he made, or sorry, one of the biggest advices that he wanted to give to the North American community was the uh, utilization of the critical resistance down. So if you guys have Murder Hill and have the opportunity to put this one on here, this second skill is actually really, really good. Um, this critical resistance down is really gonna help you uh, when we're talking about doing a little bit of damage. So again, if you guys have this particular unit, um, hopefully you can utilize it. Or if not, if you got somebody in your lineup that has this one, definitely try to incorporate that so you can get uh, get your stacks up there, uh, get your stacks up really high there. So uh, again, I want to give a shout out to uh, DJ Bizzo, Ycuz, and Bix, who uh, are the three players, I believe, uh, that got this cleared uh, right away. You know, shouts out to Bizzo, uh, who actually is going to be a guest on our channel here in the near, near future. We have a video already recorded here, so you guys can check that out soon. But uh, it's funny because this is a team-based effort, but they gave Bizzle the credit here. So sorry, Ycuz, sorry, Bix. Uh, we love you just as much as Bizzle here, but for whatever reason, they, they gave him the love. I guess it's just, that's what they do, right? When it, when the Grandmaster's in play, right? They give him a little love here. But anyways, fam, let's go ahead and get into it. Uh, again, I got the link already pulled up here. This is, again, the stream that he just recently did. And generally speaking, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll kind of let him like crop it up and do his own thing because he's obviously going to make a, like a shorter videos. But this particular video is six or six. This uh, particular stream is six hours long. So like I said, I wanted to just go ahead and uh, uh, showcase one of the matches so you guys can get a good idea of what you'd be expecting uh, moving into this here. So it's really cool because again, um, this is like the new dungeon right now. And again, we can get, you know, the potential of like three star awakened gear. So pretty excited. Uh, for this one here, because I've been saving all of my tickets here. I think I got like 22, 25 tickets here that I'm going to be able to utilize. So um, really, really cool. So again, a big shout out to Storyteller providing this content. Um, super cool. Super cool to go ahead and check this out like right when it drops here. So again, Farrakho, the new raid boss. Again, we're going to be just starting out with some basic damage. And uh, eventually we're going to be running into, uh, we're going to be running into the, uh, the update. They're going to like essentially tell us when we're gonna to have to go on to, you know, uh, when he's gonna be going to a specific uh, uh, origin. But for right now, it's just essentially doing a little bit of damage, get their cr cr critical resistance down and try to avoid his attacks as they come in. Uh, right now, I think you can see he does do, uh, you know, a nasty little AOE there, but as you guys can see, uh, Storyteller wasn't, uh, didn't really take all too much damage. Obviously, Storyteller is uh, rocking some really good stats here. I think he's over uh, 630K uh, combat power here, so. Just, you know, kind of keep that in mind if you guys are like jumping into this with 400k and maybe your stats are not super, super crazy, right? So again, as you guys can see, they, they are like busting out a crazy amount of stats here. And the first uh, element uh, that is in play for him 
uh, is the fire one. Mind you, the fire one switched kind of right away. I didn't mention it, you know, at the beginning of this thing, but you will notice that, you know, he is a fire element. Storyteller is on the, uh, he's using his water staff here, and he's basically keeping the boss around this origin of tower here, trying to get him to do damage here. Um, so we can, you know, essentially take it out here. And okay, if, if that doesn't happen, I believe if there's a, if you don't, if it doesn't happen and, and, and hits another tower here, you're going to have an issue. Um, and I think he does his like massive AOE to like essentially like kind of wipe you. So you can see right now, they're definitely focused on being right around the origin of win. And once you do a certain amount of damage, I think that's pretty much it. And after you hit the boss, you know, it's just going to show like, you know, minimum damage, like one damage or whatever like that. So again, he already cleared the first stage. First 20% is in. Uh, he has cleared the origin of wind, so now uh, the element has switched, and now Farrakhan is sitting here on the origin of, or sorry, he's uh, in wind element. So, as you guys might have guessed, even though you can't see it over there, uh, Storyteller has switched his staff, so now he's going to be doing a little bit more damage here, um, utilizing that uh, fire vampire uh, as as should be here. Uh, fire vampire uh, has just the crazy, crazy, crazy ult here. I'm sure you guys already know by now. We're not going to get into it, but um, it's really, really good. Take note, guys, uh, what he is doing right now to take advantage of that AoE skill or that skill that Farrakhan is using. They're making sure that if it's going to be following them, um, that the person that is around the origin of water is essentially circling around, circling around it so that you can do uh, some additional damage on that here. So it's very, very important that you get your boss uh, right around, uh, right around the, uh, what's it called, the, the tower, the respective tower that you need to be. And so, yeah, you can see right now, I think he was, they were trying to carry the boss away um, for a little bit here and now they're going to be going back to the origin of the tower. So take no guys you see XRP He's walking around the origin of water getting a kill But the other two people are not around any other origin, right? They're not around the origin of fire They are not trying to do damage on those They are trying to do damage on the origin of water if they do damage on the or origin of fire Then we're gonna have a serious issue here. So um, outside of that fam They've hit the next mark here. I believe we're now at 60% So now we're switching once again on over to the water <coughs> Excuse me <coughs> the water uh, element here. So again, kind of a unique AOE here, very, very similar to the one in Seal. Um, Storyteller did mention in the video that if you can, if you have any, if you don't have any issues with Seal, like, you know, just kind of uh, managing your movement abilities, then you're gonna be okay with that. Now this shield right here is extremely important. When this shield is up and the recharge time is going, you need to take it down as fast as possible. Um, there is gonna be a moment in time where there's gonna be a red shield, but you definitely want to avoid that. Uh, blue is is a go, but red is a no. Sorry, I didn't mean to make that right, but yeah, definitely want to uh, take advantage of that. Uh, now it looks like once again they're going to be bringing him on over to the origin of fire. They want him to do damage on that tower here, and uh, and like I said, take it down eventually here. So again, I think they have they're almost at the twenty percent of mark here once again. And once they get enough damage on the origin of fire tower um, and get it down, then they're going to go ahead and uh, like I said, they're going to go ahead and move on to the next phase here. So. Like we said before, when you see that blue shield, you're going to go ahead and uh, take it out as fast as possible. They were able to block it. So luckily, <laughs> luckily enough for them, it was a little close on that one, but uh, they were able to get it done here. So Origin of Fire is almost done. It looks like they're going to, like I said, they're kind of reeling in him here and bringing him in over so he can uh, do a little bit of damage. They're really, really close, but it's still not uh, done here. So for Echo, now he destroyed the Origin of Fire. So now we're going to be moving on to the next phase. And again... Uh, he has, yeah, he says, basically says you're going to move over to the portals to switch on over. There's three different, uh, tower, like mini, like, you know, platforms there. And your team is going to go on over and kill each respective tower. Um, some are going to be easier than others. This one here, if you're doing the water undyne, I'm glad he chose this one. Cause I think this is one one of the more, uh, ones that are a little bit harder than others. This one here is going to be the one that has a potential revive. So as you guys can see, once the revive is in, uh, Storyteller switches on over and gets the uh, beneficial effect uh, blocker in there. He definitely wants to stop this one from reviving because if it keeps on reviving uh, and you keep on fighting it, then you're not going to be able to get it done in time. The the, the bar is which he prepares for the final battle. Um, it does take quite a bit of time here, but again, if you're not uh, if you're not making if you're not getting it done right away there, that's going to be quite a bit of damage that you're going to have to deal with down the road. So again, similar AOE here, but this last particular version of him is going to be. Uh, light. I don't think there's any element on that. And it looks like uh, Storyteller has switched on over to the dark. Uh, now, keep in mind, guys, uh, he initially did not hit those uh, that red circle. That is one that you want to go ahead and avoid. But you will notice now that the um, the amount of damage that they're able to do is going, you know, way, way quicker here. But just keep, keep in mind that 
Again, uh, something that you know we don't see all too often when it comes to these uh, boss battles here. We're generally just using the uh, the damage dealers that are you know super good, and we're not really thinking about all the debuffs here. But there's there's quite a handful of debuffs that are coming into play here, um, and I just want to make sure that you guys are uh, taking uh, close consideration on that because I think we're we're kind of getting to the stage now where we're gonna be we're gonna have to start utilizing a lot of units out there that provide a wide variety of not only buffs but debuffs here in order to slow the boss down. Again. Um, the, the difference between us now and them is that they have, you know, like I said, they have quite a bit of combat power. They have quite a bit of, you know, better runes. They have quite a bit a, of, um, of a boost on us when it comes to the Korea server here. So this is obviously, this looks way easier than it actually is because of the fact of how strong his team is. So, but yeah, guys, once this, the three towers are done and then you got the individual, uh, you know, platform battles that you do essentially is just a, a DPS Kind of burn here and ultimately you get you get the job done and uh get the clear here so again big big shout out to storyteller one more time for providing some content right on the fly he's been keeping a close eye on everything that the north america and the global server are doing and trying to provide guides for you uh that you can listen to again he is uh you know uh, from the korea server but his english is actually really really good here so if you guys do get a chance to check his video out um, you're going to learn a lot from it, okay? You definitely get to learn a lot from it. So I'm going to stop it right there, fam. Once again, uh, there's really nothing else to add. Uh, we will be here on YouTube, uh, like I said, within a matter of like three hours at the time of this recording. So it's probably going to be two hours at the time you see the video um, so that you guys can go ahead and uh, take a look at, uh, you know, the, the new boss. I'll, I'll, I'll attempt to do it and see if we can get the job done here. So, but anyways, fam, that's going to be it for the video. Thank you guys so much for your support. As always, fam, like, comment, subscribe, and we will see you guys all in the next one. Take care.